unfortunate, like what you said, it's been a long time since I've been out here, so I just feel good. I'm happy. Um, so let's go all the way back to the start. I drew myself out a little timeline. More than three years ago is when you tried to commit to Schaefer staff. Uh -huh. It's kind of crazy. It's been three years since then. What was the recruitment like when Dino took over, and, and what um, kept you interested in the program after, you know, kind of an awkward situation, right? Well, the person that had kept me interested in the program was uh, my, my safety coach, Coach Monroe, because he kept constantly talking to me, uh, messaging me, calling me on the phone, showing me that he actually cared about me and cared about me actually playing for him. So that's why I had stayed committed. Mm -hmm. Now you knew him while he was at Bowling Green. Yeah, right? I knew him real well when he was at Bowling Green. Mm -hmm. So what was, when did you learn that he was coming to Syracuse? And um, was there apprehension before that with SU, just with how everything played out with Shaper staff? Well, with Shaper staff, that when they had left, so my office had actually got taken away. Sure. And yeah. then when Dino them came, they had kept standing in touch with me. Monroe like, kept calling me, like I said, and he had kept my offer. He had gave me an offer again for Syracuse. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell you that over the phone? Okay. Yeah, over mm -hmm. the phone. Well, what was your kind of reaction? I was actually kind of shocked because I didn't really know if I can actually get another offer from him, even if a new coaching staff came in, but mm -hmm. shit, I was happy. Mm -hmm. um, what uh, what was it like getting ready to come in here, and um, what were kind of your expectations? Uh, I know you, yeah, you ended up redshirting, but mm -hmm. what were your expectations coming into that year? My expectations coming into that year was obviously not the red shirt. It was obviously play right away, but then you know how it happened. I had to get my surgery. Mm -hmm. Things had happened, so. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, it was a shoulder, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, cartilage damage. Did that happen in the summer? Not happened my senior year of high school. Okay, is it, what happened in the game? It was just, uh, it was in the game, my third game of the season, senior year. I had popped out of, out of my uh, socket. Mm -hmm. And at that point, did you kind of know you were going to need so much time to rehab? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Um, what was it like adjusting to, like, just mentally to that, to knowing you would redshirt and, I guess, trying to compartmentalize the things you needed to do? All I did was take mental reps, looking at my position, what my position was doing, looking at the play calls, then looking at what my position was doing. Just study table, study table, study table. That was it. Just keep going in the study table. Was there uh, maybe an older guy on the team who, who helped you or set a good example for you or anything that you feel like helped drive you? Coach Roy. Was what he, yeah. What uh? What about his message or what he did? Kind he of just kept me. telling me. He just kept telling me to stay focused and do what you got to do to get on the field. Do what you got to do to be successful farther in life. Mm -hmm. Um. So what? Uh, what did you kind of do in the classroom? I guess last year to set yourself up. Sat in the front, took good notes, and actually paid attention. Um, when did you find out that you were going to be good to go this year? I assume you are good to go this year. I actually year. just found out like a couple of days ago. Really? My last summer class. So you've been yeah. going, you went through spring and most of fall camp without knowing you would play. Mm -hmm. What was, so who sent you that message to say that you were all good to go? Uh, I had seen it on my, uh, on my GPA thing when my grade was actually in. Okay. And it was over so two, what, three. Like I know, I, it's what I kind of asked initially, but like now that all of this is finally behind you, like what? What's it like to be out here without having to worry about it? Do you, how much greater an appreciation do you have for playing football? A lot, a lot of appreciation because football actually came, like taught me and made me the man I am today. 